hi everyone and welcome back so now we are going to build some actual applications with the help of redx toolkit we have seen the previous couple of examples using code using code sandbox now let's uh, build a shopping cart or some uh, useful applications with the help of redx toolkit so this was our previous app uh, which we migrated to the redx toolkit now we are going to build something like this and we are going to use vs code local setup to build this kind of application we can use uh, react with tailwind uh, typescript is optional and uh, we are going to use redux toolkit this is a simple app where you can show the products using the the tailwind utility classes and when you click on any of the item you can add you can increase or decrease the quantity so we are going to create the slices the product slice card slice the ui slice because there is a toggle we need to add when a user clicks on to this and this is the list of the all the products when user click onto the product we display the details and you can increase and decrease the quantity so cart slice product slice the ui slice and we are combining all the reducers you can also write some selectors so we are starting from very basic we will install all the modules like the redux toolkit uh, we will install we will set up the store components everything is going to be from scratch okay uh, so let's get started hi everyone so what we are going to do now is uh, we'll first install the required modules like we already have the react tailwind setup we need to install the redux js toolkit and the react redux these two dependencies we need to install in our application if we check our package.json then we should see this react redux and redux toolkit redux js toolkit these are the two dependencies which we need to install after that we can start writing our code so we are going to build a small shopping cart app right so we are not going to write reducers we are not going to write actions and all we will just create slices okay and what all slices we need if we think about the the image what we what we are going to build we have the product list every product has a button add to cart and we are showing the your purchase in the right hand section so it's just all about cart cart slice product slice and uh, that's it so inside slices first we will talk about cart slice then we can also create another slices let's say the product slice and on ui header we also can can have some kind of a toggle so you can say ui slice dot js and we are going to combine all the reducers together so let's say index dot js because we are going to create a store somewhere and that store we are going to inside store we are going to pass all the reducers right so first of all let's also create a store inside store so let's say inside index.js we can create a store so this is our first point const store and what we are going to use we are going to use configure store that we can get from the redux toolkit import this from uh, Redux toolkit and we are going to import configure store uh, this should come automatically but we can also type okay this is coming now configure store so configure store and it takes a object and here we define all our reducers okay all the reducers like okay i have a product this is what i wanted to have inside a state this is the first and here we, we are going to provide product reducer from product slice then we are going to have a cart and this will be a cart reducer then we have a ui just for toggle toggle action ui reducer okay all these things we are going to right export default store 
okay and this store we can use in our index.js to pass inside a provider so inside index.js we can use the provider so import provider from react redux so here we are importing provider so let's uh, import provider okay react redux and what we need to do i mean we can just skip this and inside this we can just pass the provider opening and closing and inside provider we need to pass the store and store we are going to get from our folder so we can just say import store from okay we have slices from there we are getting the store just pass the store object that's it so this is like uh, the b6 skeleton we have created inside provider we are passing store and this store is a uh, we are creating store by just calling configure store all these are the reducers now we can create all these slices product uh, uh, product slice cart slice ui slice and there from there we will get these reducers cart reducer products reducer and uh, this is products reducer cart reducer okay, there is some typo and the ui reducer and then we export default store okay now we will also import all these things okay now let's go one by one uh, let's say the product slice because it's all about slice slice is a combination of your actions and the reducer so we are talking about the product slice first so here also we have some data inside src let's create some mock data because we don't have an api then inside data we have the products.js here i do have some static list of products which i wanted to showcase in my list so i will just copy it from my template these are a couple of products okay like let's say there are six products export default products and i can import those products in my product slice okay so here uh, product slice let's say there may be a use case okay you are making an api call and then that api call is resolving the data and then you are getting the data right we don't have an api call so what we can do is simply we can just kind of mock it so like export const fetch async products we can consider that we are doing it async i mean in actual we uh, make make an api call to a http request using exuser request here we are just uh, trying to mock it trying to make it like it's an async call return async and dispatch So this is a inner function and here we can dispatch a couple of events okay so the events can be simple as like uh, we can first dispatch okay i have started uh, fetching the product something like this so save the products with empty array here we can initialize the state loading true and false okay then i can also call dispatch another action is okay let's say start fetch start if start fetch okay this is the action and now here i can just uh, do something like this const product <coughs> so i already have the mock list what i will try to do is i will just try to make it something asynchronous using promises okay and here i have a resolve and reject and in set timeout i will just resolve this request 
I'm gonna just try. I'm just trying to create a async behavior without making an API call, and I need to make an API call. Sorry, I need to just get the mock data so I can import the products from the data import products from so I need to go outside inside data I think data contains the folder products from there I got the products okay and I'm going to resolve it after some time so let's say it took one second and then once we have the products because we are resolving it once we have the products we can set the products to dispatch and we can just call save method which we are going to write products okay so i set initially the products is empty array and start doing the fetch and then i mock the i mock the data this is like i try to convert that into a sync call because we already have data we can just write a promise and resolve it after some time just to make it look like a sync so I got the data and I'm just dispatching that. Okay, now I will do everything inside a slice. Const initial state. My initial state looks like, okay, I have a loading false. And I have a list, which is an empty array. This is my initial state. And here I can create products slice. And I will be calling create slice method inside this i will pass an object and here the name first argument is products and my initial state this is second argument we need to import the create slice from redux js toolkit okay initial state and then we have reducers inside reducers will define all the actions okay let's say start fetch this was my action right and what this action is doing it is just taking the current state and saying is okay state dot loading will become true because i have started fetching the the data and there is just another simple call is save here i am getting state and action Okay, this should be a function arrow function and here I can say is I will get the payload from the action and then state dot loading is has become false we don't we don't have an error condition because we are not making API call we are just we already have data so there is no error scenario here list equal to payload and we are able to set it so we got the product slice now we can export the actions all the actions so here export const what all different actions we have save and start fetch and this we are getting from save and fetch we are getting from product slice dot actions this we are exporting and finally we will export the reducer this is the closing of this I guess okay now what we will do is const product reducer equal to product slice product slice dot reducer and we will just do is export default product reducer so you can see what all we are exporting from this slice okay the reducer product reducer and the actions and this fetch async product these are the things we are exporting and this is our slice this is how it looks like product slice we are calling create slice initializing the current state and we have these two actions start fetch and the save similarly we have to do it on the cart i mean product sale is all about okay fetch all the products and we are able to show that on the ui now 
you will do add to cart remove to cart increment decrement the items you wanted to add into the cart so that we will do inside a cart slice so we'll copy this and copy and paste it in the cart slice and then we will see how it looks like we can zoom a little bit <clears throat> and let's move it to the left here close all the files we are inside a cart slice let's convert it into cart slice okay currently it contains a lot of code we don't need it so initial state is uh, initial state is empty array we don't have anything inside a cart now you will start adding the product object inside a cart okay this is my initial state here i can say this is simple as a cart slice so i'll just replace product with cart we don't have anything mock data create slice cart slice reducer and here we will do a lot of things okay add to cart increment decrement clear let's say first is the clear let's say you decided that you wanted to remove everything from the cart what you will do you will do nothing you will just return the empty array and let's say add to cart that means you have state and you have action inside action you will have a payload so we can restructure that this you can just directly so this payload you just wanted to insert inside our cart okay so there are couple of things when you wanted to add something to the cart first you will try to find that item okay if that item already exists in our cart or not so here we are going to write some logic javascript logic add to cart the another action is remove and then add to cart okay it should be increment because we have increment and decrement button increment and decrement so there is increment there is a decrement because once you added something to the cart you can either increase the quantity or decrease the quantity okay so we are destructuring the payload so inside cart if you see the product product has the id title and price currency so we can play with these attributes like if you are adding something to the cart first we will check okay what is the id of that item so that we are going to get from the payload and then we will just check if item already exists inside our state state dot find this state is an array we can see the initial state is an array right dot find here we can say this is the item if item dot id equal 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 to id the we are passing that means the item exists if this item is available if this is not null that means we have to increase the quantity right if else we need to push this item to the cart because this item is a new one so we are just doing state dot push and you can insert the object so this is my payload and quantity and we don't we are not writing typescript otherwise it had it would have been better because we can write the interface that then we know what all properties are there quantities can be an interface of the product which contains the id title quantity currency if item exists that means we need to increase the quantity of that item and we need to return all the items right so i can say is i can run a loop on to that items using dot map it will return the new item and here i can check if item dot id equal equal to the id we are passing that means if the match is found uh, we need to return that item but increase the quantity with quantity plus one quantity quantity plus one uh, item dot quantity I do not quantity plus one if I mean if this is not the case that means we just need to return the item 
and we don't need else part for this we can simply say is return item okay it's like dot map and it will return the the same state but only increase the quantity of the product which is already available now now you understood the logic of increment and decrement In increment means uh, we already have the item inside the state so we can just write the same logic which we have written here for the increment i'm talking about here we need to get the payload item dot id so let's say item dot id i mean the payload contains the id only because payload will be id not an object so item dot id if it is increment increase the quantity if it is a decrement we have to do minus one item dot quantity quantity minus one and payload contains the id so here we are saying is item dot id equal to the payload if that is true that means i quantity equal to item quantity minus one otherwise return the item okay so this is like a simple logic we have written to simulate this kind of uh, increment decrement add item to the cart where we are just passing the id where we are passing the whole payload and then we are just doing dot push and if the item is already added you can do increment decrement okay i mean you can also do some kind of checks on the ui that you should not be able to decrease the quantity once the quantity is zero some kind of a show and hide we need to do on the ui but this is a cart slice now there is a ui slice just to have a toggle available on the ui so everything we can construct here i will just copy the product slice and change something from there so first of all we can also export couple of things okay i need to export all these things clear increment decrement add to cart all these methods we have to export as action add to cart increment okay cart slice dot actions and here we don't have any async behavior right we just export the actions so with this method we can remove from the cart slice and here we will export the cart reducer cart reducer is from cart slice dot reducer and export this so that we can import this inside index.js okay so let's create our ui slice let's copy this ui slice paste it here we don't have any kind of such method here we are writing just a logic of toggle okay so if you just look at the ui slice we are going to have only a single method and we just have a boolean flag which is like okay sometimes we wanted to have a draw right cart as a drawer i mean we may or may not have it on the actual screen but here i just wanted to create a ui toggle behavior cart drawer visible is false initially now inside reducer you can have a toggle and what toggle will do is state dot cart drawer visible equal to just whatever we have just put the opposite of it okay and here we will be exporting toggle function product slice dot actions reducer product slice dot reducer so just change it to ui slice so ui slice dot actions ui slice dot reducer and this is ui reducer that's it so i think now these uh, all the slices we have created the logic is kind of simple we are initializing the state put creating the slice exposing the actions and exposing the the reducer so that we can import all these things inside our combined reducer i mean in the configure store 
so we can say is import product reducer from and we are importing it from the product slice same thing we will do tart slice so this we are importing from cart slice that is cart reducer and the last one is the ui reducer and here it is ui reducer okay and we are exporting this uh, export default store we are importing it that's it and here we are importing the store so it's like the end to end setup now now this one part is kind of done we have the mock products we have written the logic for the cart slice the product slice and combining all these things creating the store right cart slice has all these methods of add remove increment decrement now the next part is the ui that is the left let's work on that talk to the redux layer and here we are using redux toolkit so let's copy the component we will create our products the list of products which we are going to show inside a grid and here we are going to use the hooks to capture the data from the redux state okay so first let's take a look onto the product component and here we will say <coughs> const dispatch and we can just import it from use dispatch and we can get the products from using use selector inside use selector we access the state and what we need we need state dot products and both these things we are getting from react redux use dispatch and use selector so we got all the products we got the dispatch so we can show the list of products right here we can use use effect hook to dispatch this fetch product action okay here we can use dispatch and we can call fetch async i think that was the name let's go to slice inside product slice we had one method in the bottom which is uh, fetch async products okay fetch async products call it and then import this thing from the slice from the slice we are going to import couple of things So go outside and inside slices we are going to look into the product slice from there we are getting fetch async product so when the piece gets loaded we are going to use use effect hook to make the uh, make the call and it will be able to populate the data inside a state because fetch async product it will set loading to true and once the loading is false that means the data is available and here we can use the class name here we can use the flex container let's say it's a flex container and mx auto okay inside this we are going to have a grid division class name grid i mean the tailwind grid grid column let's say three right and now we can uh, arrange the items inside this grid okay oh it is complaining there are two opening and three closing that's wrong okay so now we are like uh, fetching the products so there will be a product container so here we can iterate on to the products so we are getting the products dot map iterate on each and every product 
and here we can render the product inside a product tile so we can create another component product item we can pass as a product and here we can have a key which is inside a product dot id as a unique key <clears throat> okay so all the things about the actions like uh, here we want to dispatch an action when you click on add to add item to the cart all those things we are going to handle inside a product component okay so this is the product and uh, we are iterating onto the list of products right so how we are getting the product using use selector let's see that so if you see the slices we are so this is a state tree we will get state dot products and inside the products we have the list of products inside a list property so it is state dot products dot list same thing we are doing here state dot products dot list okay and uh, once we have the products we are iterating onto that and we are passing that in as a product inside a product tile component okay it's uh, nice and inside this we just a simple component which is showing the title okay and if we see this okay we are able to see things that's good and these are just all the actions if you can see the chart currently we have only couple of things we have the inside the products we got all the list objects right now what we will do we, we are going to use the tailwind grid here to show the i okay so now let's see we have products product styles ready inside products we have tailwind column uh, tailwind grid column template this is the column 4 and this is the product tile okay so let's see the output how it looks like this is justify center this is the tailwind grid column 4 column grid okay we have couple of items we can add more items to the products so we can see a couple of more items in the grid so we already have id till 6 uh, i will just increase these ids from any any random id this is 40 so now these are actually different products save it and now so we should be able to see more items in the grid initially i tried to fix my tailwind configuration because it was not populating the correct set of products in the correct manner on the ui so now we should be able to see more products let's reload this okay now we can add uh, the add to cart button that add to cart button should be able to add the item to the cart okay so for that we are already using dispatch and we can have one button here that button will when you click on to this on click so that button should be able to dispatch add to cart this particular product and we have to import add to cart and i will be passing the product object for that let's see what we were doing earlier so when you click on to the add to cart uh, item we are have to pass the product and add to cart we can import from the slice so import add to cart from slices and uh, we'll talk about the product slice and this is add to cart so when you click on to this we'll dispatch add to cart with the product object which we have and we'll save it and this is like a button so we can add some classes class name let's say padding 2 
width 24 px4 and bz gray 200 and this is like add and save it add to cart is already not exported product slice I think we are exporting this add to cart export const okay this is for from the cart not from the product slice this is the fix we have to do busy hit pink product tile and text is gray 200 text excel all the default classes we are adding so when you click on to the add i think we should be able to add the item to the cart and i think we are creating a lot of gap that we can reduce by increasing the width of this grid i think we are setting some constant width which is 48 if i just remove this then i think it will take more width but are we fine with that no so width is fine this is inside a container i think we can also make it inside a container container mx auto we already inside a container and and i mean i don't like the too much spaces that's why i wanted to create i wanted to reduce the spaces between these grid items item center rounded justify center this is good this is inside a container i have a grid Okay, this is fine. Okay, so now when I click on add, what should happen is this item is getting added to the cart. If we see the Redux, whatever the inspect in actions we are getting, add to cart, add to cart, right? And if we see the, the final state at this moment, and these items had has been added so now this is more simplified i actually updated some classes just to see how it looks like just remove the border added the background color to these buttons and i just updated the product tile a little, little bit i added the background color border is not required there this is the flex column item center so all items can be vertically centered and then there is add to item okay so whenever you click on to the add to item we are actually adding the items to the cart let's say first item then second item is added third item is added fourth item is added now we, need, we also need to create a cart container at the right hand side so we can show the added items to the cart okay for that uh, we go to our app.js here we also need to create cart container this will be the cart and components cart okay and here we are going to have the cart i mean uh, we can have this products in the left and the cart in the right so we can divide the whole width into 75 percent and the 25 percent so inside the products currently this is a container okay this is fine what we can do is we can move this container outside and then we can divide this uh, into two segments one which is taking width three uh, three by four three by four and another which is taking width 1 by 4 
So first is the product. Another is cart. Okay. Let's see this. So now we need to work on the cart component. Product tile, cart component. First, we will copy the products only and then we will change the things inside it because now we need to work on the cart object, not on the, the product. So we will access the cart. First, let's see how it looks like. okay so this is covering if we try to inspect this then we will see this is four column grid width three by four and width one by four this is one by four not three by four and we don't need a container inside this because we already have a container outside same with the products so this with 3 by 4 this is 1 by 4 the cart component in the cart component we will do something else let's say we are not obviously we are not going to have a grid column it can be a column of 1 gap of 2 okay we'll render this and let's see okay let's say i'm going to say okay this looks fine this is what we needed All right first we'll have a grid then second day is having the grid of one by four now inside a cart now we are going to work on the cart component same as the products component here we need to list down all the items we have which we, which you have added inside a cart okay grid column one so we can iterate onto the cart object so first of all we need to see what is available inside a cart object so we will go to the cart state container and inside that we will see how many items are there right so inside this products same as cart state dot cart that is going to be an array right and how we know we are going to get things inside a cart so here we'll go state dot cart and inside cart reducer it's the state itself is an array so state dot cart will give us the items that has been added inside the cart so we will got the cart object and we also got the dispatch so if you wanted to dispatch like remove items from the cart you can do this through the dispatch we don't need use effect we will just iterate on the cart cart is already an array cart.map and cart contains the products okay the products which you have added inside the cart cart array okay so let's see for now we can just show the title let's see if it is working yes it is working i mean we are adding these items to this cart but we don't need to show the same template we just need to show okay this is the image this is the title this is the price all these things okay let's say simple example is we can say product dot title product dot price
and we can add some classes here because this can be a tile bg egg white okay padding can be there So whatever the items you get added, you keep adding, we will just show them like this. I mean, this can be better that you can display them inside a table. And there is also another item is remove or the clear. Uh, we can actually remove this, which is decrement. So here you can have the buttons. And here when we do one click, you can dispatch the remove action. And we don't have a remove, we just have a decrement. So that action we can import. Use selector, so here from the card slice. This is, I think the decrement is the call. Like if the item is added, you can decrease it or there can be a action, just remove the item from the product. And decrement and here we need to pass the ID. So we are passing product dot ID. Okay, that's it. Let's see this thing now. Okay, these two items has been added. Okay, this is adding the items, right? And if the item is already there, then what it will do, it will just increase the count, right? Here you can see, we are just increasing the quantity of that particular item and when you click on remove that should be able to remove the item from the cart okay so now if we just see the redux all the actions being triggered so these items we are adding we can item center this can be a flex flex column justify center so all the items will be vertically centered. Okay, these are all the items which we have added in the cart. Okay, this looks better. I mean, we can make it small, something nicer. I mean, just a demo. I just wanted to show how the Redux, to Redux Toolkit really works. Okay, so now the final demo is uh, how it works. We are also showing the count here you can see so currently we don't have an increment and decrement buttons but like when you click on to add it should show you two options that you can also decrease or increase the quantity from the cart only i mean just a simple demo i wanted to show it like this so this is the cart items you can show this in the nice table format where you can see okay this item has been added and then from here you can remove right I mean currently there is no boundary I'm checking inside the code that's why here it is just increasing and decreasing the quantity okay so that's it uh, you can also inspect the the redux state we have to the bottom and this redux state tells us everything about uh, what we have done now if i just start adding the items we can see the items has been added in the cart and this is all about the redux toolkit we will cover a couple of more examples it's all about sometimes uh, uh, we have to work on the styling part and i'm not expert on that okay that's it guys uh, thanks everyone thanks for watching